In a sultry Saigon setting, serendipitously situated in the steamy South Vietnam of the late 1969. What is going on, YouTube? Uh, that is a little voiceover thing that I've been working on. I don't like it, so I'm going to redo it. But that's Apocalypse Now, which is a great movie. Francis Ford Coppola, uh, Martin Sheen, Harrison Ford is in it, and of course, Marlon Brando, uh, G.D. Spradlin. I mean, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. I mean, it's it's loaded with a bunch of people. As you can tell, I'm a movie buff, but I'm here to talk about the quail last night. That was, no, I'm never doing quail again. It was way too bony. And I'm good. And I don't think I've ever seen a quail in person. You know? And next time I see a quail, I'm like, nigga, you're too bony. Like, get some more meat on your bones so a brother can eat you. You know? Come on, man. It's like biting into a bag of bones. Like, and anyways, um, we're going to start feeding it to my cat. And it's cool. He likes bird. I'm, I'm sure that's what he's eating when he be going out doing random nigga shit. That's what cats, all cats do random nigga shit when you don't see them around. That's why they always running when you see them because they have to know good. They're doing hood shit. All cats do hood shit. You know, they out there killing. Cats, one cat will like murder like over a hundred animals in a year. That's just facts, man. Cats are gangsters and they don't want no and they don't like competition. They'll fight to the... I mean, them niggas is wild, bro. You know, like, my cat be holding it down here. I don't see any other of the cats that we own here anymore. They're gone. And I think he just been, like, like really tearing them up. And what trips me out is he's fixed. So it's not like he's pissing places and putting his territory places. The guy... Anyways... Um, so no more quail, but he he earned he earned that that quail. Like I'm, he he gets that. I'm gonna be sticking the beef, the beef burger patties. I like that. And yesterday's video was to show you how much uh, how um, proficient or productive I've become since doing carnivore. It's been phenomenal, and I have learned to basically set times for the things that I want to do. And that's what's been keeping me on track to keep doing these things consistently. It's a good track. And now I'm working on this model. If you watch yesterday, I started washing it. I was scrubbing it. And then uh, I also did some voiceover work, which I didn't record. And then I did uh, a screenplay work. I, I took a half hour down and I started writing screenplay. And I worked on my podcast. Today I'm gonna do some recording on the podcast. One thing I did learn is that this mic is way inferior to my blue snowball. This blue snowball, this one back here, way better than this, this Yeti. And I mean, I was shocked. But to be fair, I've dropped this so many times, so it's probably not in the best shape. And I even have a mic that's better than that. It's a condenser mic, but I, it, the hookup, I, I think I lost all the hookups and stuff like that. I keep losing stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, that, that Blue Yeti is, is, is the truth with some cheese on it. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick to that and I'm gonna give this mic to my friend in Florida so she could start doing some voiceover work, uh, with me. But yeah, um, that is kind of it. Today we're gonna go check out a house. I'll send you pictures right here. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, deuces.